What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. I'm going to dive right into this one. I came across a new looking version of Apple, Apple CarPlay that I'd never seen before. And I got curious and I did a little digging and come to find out Apple released a beta version that uh, you can get of iOS 13. And part of iOS 13 is a new upgraded, new and improved Apple CarPlay. And just from the screenshots and the short amount of footage that I saw of the new CarPlay, I was like, I need that. That looks incredible. And I already like CarPlay. I've never had CarPlay before this car. Um, and I've had minimal experience with it before this car. You know, just in other cars and messing with it at all. And But I like it. I liked it a lot. I liked the way it looked. I, I thought it looked better than anything that came from the factory of any car. It just looked clean, it looked cool, it looked cool to have like the Apple apps up on the screen. I liked it, I liked that Siri, uh, you know, came through the speakers. I liked that you could see the music that was playing, you know, in a very Apple-like way. I'm a big fan of Apple, so I just, I liked the way that it looked. I liked the maps, it was a huge thing, the fact that you could look it up on your phone and cast it right up on the screen, you know, no more the days of looking at your phone like that or, you know, trying to drive with your phone or having the mounts up on the window or anything, you don't need that. Apple CarPlay really took a lot of that away uh, with, you know, casting, Not it's not really casting per se, but just uh, putting really what's on your phone onto the screen. And I was a, a huge fan of the current Apple CarPlay, uh, really liked it. I, I used to only use Bluetooth in all my previous cars and you know because the whole wireless thing and I don't mind having to plug this in every time I get in the car when I get in the car the first thing I do is plug it in because I want that up on the screen I maybe the entire time of me having this car maybe less than five percent of the time have I been using the factory Ford menu you know I, I just haven't I, I don't use it it's it just pales in comparison to using the Apple CarPlay so uh, like I said I'm scrolling the internet last night I see this new and improved version I have to have it I find out how so I go I download the beta version of iOS 13 onto my iPhone uh, I got it done last night so let's go ahead and dive in I'm gonna flip you around so you can see what I'm talking about so I'm just gonna go over all the stuff that I found uh, to be new with this version of Apple CarPlay starting right off the bat Normally, when you plug your phone in, you're used to being greeted with a screen that looks similar to this. You have all your apps laid out just like this, you know, in a, in a, a fashion similar to the iPhone. Uh, now, when you plug your phone in, it's actually a screen that looks like this. This is the home screen. This is the first screen that you're going to see when you plug your phone in now. So what you see, uh, you got some apps on the left like normal. You have a big version of your maps, easy access right there. You have, I guess, a kind of an extension of your maps, gas station, parking, quick hits over here that you can, you know, you don't really have to fumble and go through the, the through the menus for. You can just find them right here on this main home screen and your music. So I think what they've done here really is take the main things that you're going to be using with Apple CarPlay. Uh, you know, obviously there's more stuff that it has to offer, but the main stuff, maps and music, um, I think if you, you know, ranked what people are going to use this for those would have to go one and two and they've just kind of made it a, a bigger easier version to access um, like I said with the maps big right here so you don't have to hit that little I, I found myself sometimes while I'm driving and trying to hit that little you know it's not hard but it's much easier to be here click there boom you know it's 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 much bigger it's much easier much easier to get to uh, as far as this stuff over here just kind of need a gas station there you go there's your gas stations is pretty cool that seems new too that seems new being able to just hit gas station like that and there's gas stations you know all in the area um, and then parking if you need to find parking uh, that's just showing some valley and stuff like that so that's really cool I think I like the look of this new menu right here in music you actually have quick access to that as well which is really nice uh, if you actually just hit the album right there then it will take you to you know Spotify or Apple Music or whatever you're currently using. So I have to look at the home menu. It has changed. It is different. Uh, as far as I can tell, I mean, you can't change the stuff. You can't hold it down and, and move it. So this is what it's going to look like right here. Uh, a couple other things I see right off the bat. The home button is actually different. It's not a home button where the home button used to be look like a you know iPhone home button. It's actually now a know a picture of it looks like a bunch of apps in a row and if you hit that that's what takes you back to the menu that you're used to seeing so home menu right here just to the left uh, you can swipe that way and here's your your menu that you're used to seeing if you prefer that look over that but when you first first plug in the iPhone and it first pops up this is what you're gonna see now as far as I can tell these three buttons over here the top one is always gonna stay maps 
It's always going to be there. I think, like I said, this is a car after all, and, and maps it might be the number one thing, maybe behind music, but you're definitely going to be using maps a lot. So as far as I can tell, this top app always stays in maps. Now the second one actually switches for music. That's the place for your music app. So right now I'm using Spotify. So if I were to come up here and hit music, that app changes. So that's your music app right there. So if I were to go back home, go over, find Spotify, hit it, changes back to Spotify. So the first one's always gonna be maps, second one's always gonna be music, and the third one is just gonna change between the last app that you touched. So if I go up here to phone, changes to phone. If I go to messages, that changes to messages. If I come over here to calendar, that changes to calendar. So maps, music, last app that you touched, which is pretty cool, I think. Now there are some new apps that I'll go over here in a little bit. Right now I wanna go over the apps that were that were already here but have now changed. So Siri's still here, you can he still hit it on the steering wheel or you know wherever in your vehicle that the, uh, the voice command button is. Uh, this Apple CarPlay, it always had phone, but normally in the previous version when you hit phone, you touch it and Siri would come up and give you somebody to call. Now when you touch phone, it actually comes to your contacts. It actually shows your favorites, what you know, like in your iPhone favorites. This layout is actually exactly like it is on the iPhone. You know, the bottom row on the phone, this is what appears at the top row here. So you got your favorites right there. Recent, I mean, all of your contacts. Uh, you can ask Siri to make a call. You actually have a keypad now, so you can just dial in whatever you know phone number you're trying to reach and your voicemail. So I like that a lot better. I was a little disappointed. I was always excited for Apple CarPlay. And when I got it, to find out that when you hit the message and the phone button that it just went to Siri, that was a little disappointing. I wanted to see something more like this, and that's exactly what they've done. Now from this home menu, instead, I mean, I really might just put my phone all the way away now when I'm driving. I always liked Apple CarPlay, but there's stuff that Apple CarPlay could not do. You still needed your phone on hand. And to me, with this new update, that's no longer the case. You could plug your phone in and throw it in the back seat if you wanted to. Everything you could possibly need from your iPhone is on this screen, and it's amazing to me. So if you're, if you're driving along and you don't want to fumble for your phone, you can, one, you know, use the Siri over the voice command, or just hit phone and your, your favorites are right there, boom. And two taps, I'm calling whoever I want to call. That to me is awesome. I, I really like this updated phone version of this, and it really makes it where I don't think I'm ever gonna have to have my phone in my hand while driving again, which I think, you know, that's kind of the ideal, that's the, the uh, purpose of Apple CarPlay, is to not have to use your phone. Uh, another app that was already existing that changed, it, that changed is Messages. And a similar thing, like I said, when you hit Messages in the previous version, it would just pull up Siri on the uh, the screen automatically. Here, it actually pulls up your conversations. So it's not quite as in-depth as the phone app. Uh, you can't actually click in, so if I click the most recent text I got, it'll pull up and read it, you know, read to me what the text is. It doesn't pull up your whole conversation, which to me is totally fine. That doesn't bother me. It, it'd be kind of weird if your full conversation pulled up and that kind of defeats the purpose of being hands off, you know, or hands free if you can sit here and type on your screen or see your full conversation, that's not really what it's for. So when you click into an individual conversation, uh, it'll pull Siri up and it'll read you a new message or you can respond. Uh, but at least you can see, you know, you can go into messages and, you know, I can text him back, can text him back, can text him back. Uh, and you can even do new message up in that top right right there. So phone, a huge upgrade. I think it's so much better. I, I love what they've done with the phone app. Messages, I think you've done as much as you can do with it right now. You know, I don't know how much further you can go without showing conversation, and that to me seems just like something that doesn't need to happen. Uh, moving on with apps that are not new. They're still here, but they're you know improved on the inside. Uh, this now playing to me looks a little bit different. And when you hit that, that will either take you to your Spotify or your Apple Music, whichever one you're currently using. Uh, and I guess that brings me to the next one, is the Spotify app. I don't use Apple Music, so I can't speak on that. I, I've never used it, I don't know what it looks like in here. I, I, I am a Spotify guy. Uh, I can say the Spotify app is hugely 
hugely upgraded though. So you have your home and you got, you know, what you would see in the Spotify app. Like I said, it's truly bringing what you would see on your phone onto the screen so much more than it was before. So you have all your playlists it has, you have your recently played, uh, you can browse between different genres, and you have my library, your library, playlists, like songs, albums, artists. I mean, it's this is closer to what you will see on your iPhone screen than it was before. Uh, and like I said, again, that's the whole purpose of this is to not have to have your phone in your hand. So I think the Spotify app is, is a huge upgrade. It's very awesome. I, I like the way it looks. I like the way it functions. I like that I can do everything on here now versus having to use my phone. Uh, just keep on going as we'll hit maps up here. I don't think there's too much different with maps. I haven't actually used it because I've just been driving around the area, but it's okay. Search. That looks different. So, oh, we have a keyboard. Okay. Wow. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. So the, the Maps app is actually updated quite a bit. And like you saw, you can do with Siri, or you can pull this keyboard up. That keyboard's awesome. I, I had no idea that that was a part of this. That's, <laughs> that's really, really cool. Uh, so that's a nice way to find, you know, whatever you're looking for. So again, you really, again, don't need your phone in your hand at all with this new Apple CarPlay. Here you have different search options. So gas station, parking, restaurants, coffee, groceries. I mean, that is... It's funny, they don't have beer <laughs> in the, uh, I guess, I mean, obviously you don't want to be drinking and driving, but it's kind of funny on the maps. If you look in your phone, it'll show you, you can look up bars or drinks or something like that. So they've taken that away in here, which is smart. You don't want people drinking and driving. That's bad. But that is actually really cool. This map thing has, has, you know, changed quite a bit too. If you hit destinations here, uh, home, recent, so that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty upgraded. I also see it. Let's see. So the top right button, this little arrow, is either going to point you true north. It's going to swap between true north and whichever way you're facing. That's cool. That's new. There's also a 3D button here that I see. So that's not exactly like satellite view 3D. That is more just it'll kind of tilt it back and uh, you know when you move around, it's looking at more like a 3D angle. Go back to 2D, which is just a two-dimensional, two-dimensional over-the-top look of where you're at. Um, if you hit that little arrow button on the far right, this is just to navigate. Pretty cool. And then on the bottom right over here, you just have your plus and minus to zoom in and out. So, so this map thing, it's it's pretty updated. There's there's quite a few of improvements here. I'm pretty impressed with this Maps app alone. I'm pretty impressed with this new Apple CarPlay in general. You know, just by everything I've seen so far, I've only been messing with it for about an hour, so it's brand new to me as well. Uh, and in the top right up there, you also see. Uh, the direction that you're facing which is that's very very cool moving along obviously this button uh the four sync button will just take you back to nobody with this apple carplay you don't ever need any of this this is just nobody wants that so back to apple carplay podcast uh i yeah i mean it's cool there's your library you can browse pretty nice addition. I don't really use that app, so I can't get too in-depth with that. Audiobooks, I also don't really use that, so I'm just going to skip over it. Uh, okay, so now we're on to new apps for this version of Apple CarPlay. I've gone over what's new as far as the layout. I've gone over apps that existed, but they've just improved it. And now, two apps right here you'll see that were not here before. One, settings. So you actually have a do not disturb uh, while driving that you can turn activate with CarPlay. So I guess that if you get calls or texts coming through, it'll probably send them straight to voicemail. Uh, they won't ring. So if you know, if you need, if you don't need to be distracted, if you don't want calls or texts coming through while you're driving, that's a simple way to disable that. Apparent. This is something really cool to me. I don't exactly remember what the the last version, uh, you know, the background color was. I want to say it was the darker. But now you can go in here and you have automatic. So I assume at night it'll, you know turn this way which is really cool the dark uh, so at night it'll turn everything dark on automatic and during the day it's white this new white look I like it's so much more like vibrant and just I don't know it looks really really good I, I like this this white I, I assume I'll leave it in automatic because I like this white during the day I imagine that'd be pretty dark at night or I imagine that'd be pretty bright at night so uh, automatic I think is where I'm gonna stay but new for this version is the the appearance the background color white or black I really like it and then uh, I'll be honest I don't really know what this does suggestions and dashboard you can turn it on and off it's on I'm just gonna leave it on I'm not sure 
Uh, the other thing, the last thing actually that I'm going to go over that's new for this version of Apple CarPlay is the calendar. That's a new app. So when you go in there, I mean, one, it tells you the date right there. I mean, that's, that's Saturday the 20th. When you go into it, it tells you your events for the day. So it's not actually a view of a calendar, uh, but it tells you the day. And if you have anything going on this day, it would pop up right there, which is cool. If you run your schedule by the, the, uh, the calendar or anything like that, if you're constantly looking forward, if you have a bunch of appointments, you know, if you use it on a daily basis to keep track of everything, I can see where this would be very, very cool. Coming over here and just hitting calendar. Boom. There's everything you have to do today. That's, you know, all your events, everywhere you need to be. Uh, that's really cool to me. I like that feature. So that is a general overview, a run through, a look at the new Apple CarPlay. I, I know you can go and do, I don't know if I mentioned it before, that iOS 13 that I'm running on my iPhone to get this is a beta test right now. And I it seems to be open for the public. I don't know if that's for a limited time or you know if up until it comes out for real, if you can go do that. I don't know. But last night it was so easy. You can just go to the, just type in iOS 13 and Apple will run you down how to do it. Uh, it took no time at all. The phone, there's a ton of new cool stuff on the phone that I'm not going to go over. That's not the purpose of this video. But uh, again, this is iOS 13 beta version. And with the new and improved Apple CarPlay, I give it an A plus two thumbs up. I thought, you know, I, I love the, uh, the last version of Apple CarPlay, but there's a few things that I felt was holding it back from keeping it being a true hands-off experience, a hands-free experience. And every one of those things has been answered with this new this new version. I love it. I think it's incredible. I don't know what else you could do. You know, everything improves eventually, but I don't know what else you could do to improve this uh, more than it already is. It pretty much has everything I could ask for. So uh, I hope that gave you a good insight, a good look at what's coming up for this. Uh, you can go see if you can do that beta test for the iOS 13 and check this out yourself. It's very cool. I don't know when it's coming out for real, but I would highly, highly recommend if you like Apple CarPlay, this will blow you away, you know, as far as the improvements and, and what else you're getting with this. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Let me know what you think of this new Apple CarPlay. Have you downloaded iOS 13 beta? Uh, have you, are you waiting? Did you even know this was a thing? Because I didn't until yesterday, so uh, I don't blame you. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you all next time.